Alright, so my sound should be a little bit better. I had my microphone plugged in, but not actually turned on, so I was using my laptop's built-in array of microphones, which is why the sound quality was so crappy. So, hopefully, this will be a little bit better. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because I was feeling all special and went through and deleted and redid all the videos with crappy sound quality. So, hopefully what I'm doing looks familiar by now. I just created my new part. This one's the spacer. Uh, and I'm just building it right now. I started with a cylinder for my primitive. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and do another circle here. Go back and edit this sketch. And Inventor will probably yell at me, but it's okay. I know how to deal with Inventor when it's yelling at me. Hey, it didn't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this extrusion to edit it. And for profile, I got my little arrow selected. I'm going to hold control and select that part, which means I don't want this to be selected. And that's what I've done. So now I've just got my hollow spacer. It's 1.37 inches long, 1.25 inch outer diameter, 1 inch inner diameter, and that's it. That's perfect, except it's not saved. But now it is saved. Therefore, now it's perfect. So here's my spacer. Next, I'm going to go and do the nut. Again, on the XY plane, doing my polygon. Um, so I'm going to go and make this line horizontal, just like I did in the other video, video with a hexagon. So the dimension here is 0.35 inches. I'm going to set that there. So I'm done with this sketch. And here we go. It is 0.2 inches long. I'm actually going to go back and edit this sketch and put in this hole here which is 0.26 inches. So here we see that it didn't actually change anything and I hope you remember from the spacer how we fix that. So we double click this extrusion, select profile so it knows we're trying to edit what's actually being extruded. Hold control. You see if I'm not holding control nothing lights up. But if I hold control then it's thinking I want to take stuff away and I'm going to take away that center part. So then we the only thing we've got left if I dimension that, yes I did, is we have to do that revolve chamfer again. So, I'm looking for the plane that intersects it that goes through two points rather than two surfaces, because, actually I'll just do this for you, I'll show you what happens if you do it through um, two surfaces. This one. If I go through F7 so I get a cross section, I'll project geometry again. You see it looks exactly like what I did last time. I'm going to do my chamfer of 0 0.03 by 0 0.03. And now I'll do my revolution about this axis. And cut. And look at that. That is not what we want. That is not pretty. That is sharp and painful. Look at that. If you touch that, you would slice your finger off. That's not what we want. Plus, fabrication team will get very mad at you if you do things like that, or put square corners. So, that's not what we want. I'm just going to go and delete this whole thing. I've deleted the revolution. Sorry, 360. You had to go. Uh, F7 for project geometry, or F7 for cross-section, then project geometry. I don't actually need to project any of those. But, now I've got my line 0 0.03 0 0.03 here as well and now revolve about this this axis and we want to cut and there we go our revolution is back wouldn't Stokely be happy so because I didn't extrude symmetrically here, because I was going too fast, I can't actually do that little mirror thing. So instead what I'm going to do is, now that I actually want it, I'm going to go Edit Feature, do the symmetrical thing, which I just showed you. And now I'm going to mirror this about our special little XY plane. And there we go. Now we've got the revolve chamfer on both ends. And the nut is finished. And I forgot to save again. Don't forget to save. You'll be very sad when your computer crashes. So next I'm going to do 
this next part, which is the center pin. Like a good boy, I'm going to save it first. I'm going to start out with my primitives. Cylinder. 1.5 inches. Extruded 0.5 inches. That's the head. And now I'm going to go through to this cylinder. Here, this is 1 inch in diameter. And it is three minus a half inch. I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna tell Inventor to do it. So now what I can do is I can go through both those sketches and do an inner circle in which to take out, or I can just do another cylinder here, add another feature. Won't Collins be happy? Cut through all, and there we go. I forgot to dimension this, so I'm gonna go back and do that. This is a .6 three, but I know it's rounded, it should really be 0.625, because nothing's 0.63. They're always 0.625. So now it says, nope, not fill it, chamfer. We've got 0 0.06 chamfer, and that's that. This part is finished. The next video, I'm going to put all these together in an assembly show you how to do that. But that's it for this one.